You want to see something badass? Check this out. This is the new Truecoat 360 Cordless Connect by Graco. And the cool thing about it is that it turns any drill or impact driver into a paint sprayer. So check this out. It's got a little platform that goes underneath your battery, which Velcro's on. And then you can just chuck it into your drill or impact, just like you would do a normal drill bit. And then you've got yourself a paint sprayer ready to go. It retails for 189 bucks. And the question is, is it worth it? So let's put it to the test and find out. If you've used any of the other Graco handheld sprayers, you'll recognize a lot of this stuff. It's very similar. But let's take a look at some of the parts. What you have here is a paint cup. You have a removable filter. You have a removable tip. And it also comes with this cool funnel slash strainer. And they actually mounted the strainer so it's fixed inside the funnel this time, which is actually a nice upgrade from one of their previous models. Where Graco wins is their simplicity, so the average homeowner can really pick up and start spraying almost immediately. There's not a lot of technical background. Now, admittedly, I didn't read the instructions, but I've used enough of the Graco handheld sprayers to have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. The setup's really easy. It comes with this little uh, chapstick-like tube, and that's just a sealer. You can put it around the gasket on the lid of the paint cup, and that helps seal it so you don't get any air leaks which can cause a problem although i've never had the issue with or without using the chapstick stuff but i'll use it just for this video and honestly that's about it that's all you kind of have to do for that next we can just start filling it up with paint now i am using just straight paint directly out of the can i've never opened this although this is primer this isn't actually paint but it doesn't make any difference regardless it's not thinned in any way and i just pour it straight in and fill it up as much as I can, kind of keeping an eye on what's going on in the container so as to not overfill it. I do like those little painting brow things that you can clip onto the lid and they help you kind of act as a spout. Those are pretty cool. Don't have one with me, but the other thing to do is I like to keep a bucket full of a little bit of water nearby in case I spill something and have to clean it up. Or also I like to just kind of toss this strainer into there when I'm not using it. Now all the handheld Graco sprayers are all similar in this regard. You snap the cup onto the bottom of the gun by twisting the cup and locking it in place. And then you actually have to squeeze the air out this little burp valve until you start to get a little bit of paint coming out of the top of it. And then you just close that valve back down and then you know you've got all the air out. From there, there's a little knob on the side and there's two options, there's spray and prime. You wanna flip that to prime and then you wanna hold the trigger down on the drill to prime the pump. Now, I don't really remember if they say to flip the thing upside down or not. I don't know why I do it. I don't think you need to do it. I don't think it hurts either, so I do it. Now, before I started spraying, I decided to change to one of the FlexVolt batteries for a couple reasons. One, it's a bigger, uh, longer lasting battery. And two, it's a lot taller than the typical batteries. And I wanted to see how the gun handled the change in size between the drill. Now, if I wasn't a jackass, I would have done this before I attached the paint cup so that it wasn't so front heavy. But what are you gonna do? As I mentioned, I didn't read the instructions. So I was trying to figure out how to adjust the height of it. And then I realized that it's just kind of this spring loaded mechanism and you pull down on it and it just gets taller. Super easy to adjust and really cool. The only thing I had to be careful was is chucking it back in the drill so that I didn't, you know, hit the trigger and start spraying when I wasn't trying to. For torque settings on the drill, I just had it on drill and then I was pretty much good to go. I just tested the spray by spraying it into the bucket. And once I saw that it was spraying paint and looked pretty good, then I started spraying it on the wall. It does sound a little bit different than your typical drill. I'll shut my dumb mouth and you can actually listen to it for a second. The sprayer comes with two tips. It has one that says paint wide and the other one that says stain wide. Now, the one thing I know for a fact is that these tips are not interchangeable with the larger sprayers like the X5 or the X7. So if you're buying this thinking that you can just swap tips from your bigger sprayer into your little sprayer, it's not gonna work. You can, however, use other tips for the True Code 360. I know they have a paint narrow. I'm not sure what other tips they have, but you can use those on this. The other thing of note is that this is not a variable speed sprayer. It's just a fixed speed sprayer, so you can't adjust the speed of it. I'm not exactly sure how it works out with different settings on your drill, but potentially you could maybe set it for different speeds if you have an adjustable speed drill. And so there you go. There's one big built-in down, and it's definitely faster and definitely a much smoother finish than you could get by painting by hand, for sure. So for this next smaller built-in, I'm going to switch over to an impact driver, and I'm going to switch brands as well. I'm going to go over to a Milwaukee impact driver. And it's important to note that Graco does have a cordless sprayer option currently, but it is 
exclusively to the DeWalt battery line. It's called the Graco Ultra. It's quite expensive. It's very similar to this, but it can only use DeWalt batteries. So having the flexibility to not only go from drill to impact driver, but also have a completely different brand of battery and not having to buy a DeWalt battery just for your paint sprayer is pretty cool. And in terms of how much paint I used, I didn't refill the paint cup after the first built-in before I started spraying the second one. The impact driver is a louder tool in general, so it's a little bit louder on an impact driver. So if I had the choice, I'd probably use a drill. But in terms of finish quality, I didn't really notice a difference between the drill or the impact driver. They both sprayed on clean and I didn't have any problems whatsoever. The question I get a lot is what is the cleaning process like? And the cleaning process, like anything cleanup, sucks but it's not any worse than your normal cleanup what i usually try to do is keep a bucket around full of water with the hose wash out each individual component once i have all the parts clean i fill the, the spray cup with a bunch of clean water and i just blast that through the gun a bunch of times until i'm spraying nothing but clean water this isn't going to replace my x7 which is my big sprayer for large jobs but for small jobs medium-sized jobs i think Graco knocked it out of the park with this i really do the multi-tool multi-brand of ability and price at 189 bucks makes this a home run for me I would be very happy to buy this so if you're on the fence about getting a paint sprayer or you want something that's an economical option this might be a good fit for you and I'll leave a link to it in the description down below thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time